Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for some Grixis discard. So y'all know this deck by now. This is my, you know, maybe my most popular deck to play. Uh, probably the deck that I play the, the most, have had the most success with just overall. I really like it against, uh, this is like my go-to deck against control decks and uh, wilderness reclamation decks and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, we can struggle against Mono Red. That can be a struggle, and because of that, we got a second Moment of Craving in our deck here recently in the sideboard. Uh, we can also struggle against Gates. Gates is a is a pro problematic deck to play against, specifically Guild Summit from Gates. That's the that's the card that really gets us there. But besides that, I think we're pretty good against most of everything else. Soul Tie is like a 50-50 matchup. Um, you know, whether or not, like, we kind of curve out into, like, disinformation campaign if we have ritual set for their creatures or not, you know, like, they have a lot of card advantage in their deck also, like, they're, they're a really good deck. It just kind of, it's like, does our cards match up? Um, yes or no, whether or not we win that matchup. It's, it's a very close one. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to the games. So we'll get some Grixis discard going here. Yeah, enchantments are a little bit of a problem. Specifically, what's the problem with Guild Summit is how much card advantage it provides. It just provides so much card advantage. That's why it's such a problem. Like, even, like, Ixalan's Binding you'd think would be more of a problem than, than what it really is. Like, Dispersal does a good job of removing enchantments, and, like, we do get to remove enchantments kind of eventually because of it, but the, the real problem with... There's Dispersal right there. The real problem with... Guild Summon is, we don't get to remove it right away, and it just provides too much card advantage. So, I'm keeping this because of our discovery, even though we're not really casting a discovery until turn three. You know, best draw possible would be an untapped land here, of course. Especially something that has the Sulfur Falls coming to play untapped. Ugh, not quite. On the draw, like, I, I don't think I'm keeping this on the draw. Like, I think this would be too slow on the draw, but I, I'm thinking on the play we can maybe get away with this. Alright, Shockland coming in in time for us just to campaign. Start getting on this campaign trail. Definitely looking for, like, Ritual of Soot. You know, like, I don't want to use a removal spell necessarily on Thorn Lieutenant. Plus, our opponent probably has another two or three mana creature to follow up this next turn with. So kind of looking for Ritual of Set. I would like to save Coil for Rekindling Phoenix. So our opponent's probably playing a bunch of Rekindling Phoenixes. As Kanta on curve, yeah, that could be a problem. So we, I mean, we could Coil this Spellbreaker to keep from dying. I guess we're probably gonna have to do that. Neither of these really, like, if our opponent leads up with a Rekindling Phoenix here, neither of these really answer Phoenix. I'm gonna just ditch them both. I mean, a two mana spell is good to, like, have next turn have, like, campaign plus a two mana spell. Maybe I just go with the dis Discovery being that two mana spell. Looking for either Ritual of Soot or an Exile removal spell if need be. Hey, Dragon's Fall. I'll do that. Could also see us, if we find something else to play, I could also see us just playing, uh, keeping this for just dispersal, of like maybe try to attack their hand with these kind of cards and, and dispersal later. Ha, <laughs> 
I am I am not odd visions. Not at all. Ooh. That's some damage right there. I'm willing just to take another two. Do I want to... So Angrath goes down to one loyalty. So if I if I steal the Thorn Lieutenant with Angrath, they do get the one one creature. And then Angrath so then Angrath will die after that. That's not very good for us. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. Sunder Shaman. Huh. Our opponent was more willing to play just that collision there than playing the Sunder Shaman. Interesting. Oh, gosh. That was not a card I was considering at all. I don't know if there's too much I could have done about that. I mean, I guess, I guess I would have had to kill the Thorn Lieutenant, but yeah, Demanding Dragon. That's a good one. That's a good one. So I don't really have a sideboard for this matchup. I could play Moment of Craving, I suppose. Gains life, but as we saw there, it doesn't necessarily kill everything we needed to. I could play one Ral over an Angrath. I want third Angrath or a Ral. I'll play the Ral over the Duress. Now, Thief to Steal their stuff's going to be. There's a few problems. One, it's just going to be too slow. It doesn't. Thief doesn't block, like, if I try to play Thief and try to steal their stuff, they're going to kill me before I, I do anything with their stuff. Um, and their deck is usually built pretty well of dealing with Thief. Between, as we saw there with, like, Collision Colossus, like, that thing killing it. They probably have Harpooners. I'd certainly assume they have Harpooners. They have, like, Rekindling Phoenix that blocks pretty well. The Thief just... Like, they may even have Shock, even. Like, it's just not... This is not a matchup for Thief of Sanity. That's all. I I did grind a lot to grow the collection, yes. This is what I do every day, stream Arena. I've been streaming Arena every day for months now, and so, yeah, I did that to grind the collection. This is pretty awful for us. Sunder Shamans? Like, my cards are Lava Coil Ritual of Soot. I can't kill... I can't kill Sunder Shaman. This thing's already really... This thing's already a big problem. We're in a lot of trouble. I need land. How will the sub battles work for Sunday? We are going <clears> to <throat> basically, so we'll be doing this the entire stream. Basically, it'll just be myself. All right, we'll keep these. Or so, basically, we'll start. <clears throat> um, yeah, remove their land. That would be nice. We're going to do like, I'll do like a. Like, everybody in chat, like all the subscribers here in chat, will just start a giveaway, and we'll just write, like, giveaway battle, basically like this. And this is not, like, a real giveaway right now. But then everybody will just type battle, that's all the subscribers that are ready to battle in chat, and then after, after like, a couple minutes, then I'll pick a winner for the giveaway. <clears throat> and the winner, ooh, that was me. Sorry, DJ Polyb, I won there and so we'll just work like that and we will determine 
who is going to be and then and then whoever wins plays a 1v1 match you know best two out of three and if if you win you get to either choose what deck you want me to play again or choose what deck you want to play against or it's gonna be a 5-5 five, five haste Or instead of picking the deck, you can also have Fear me no play a random deck. And no I'm going to make a little wheel that we'll spin uh, with, you know, a ton of decks on it. And you can spin the wheel and have me play a random deck. And that's what we're going to do. And then we'll play a match. And then we'll have another subscriber for the next match. And play another one. And we're going to be doing that all Sunday. And hopefully it's a lot of fun. So Sunder Shaman just gets, just gets to kill Angrath here. That Gruel Locket was a little rough. I could have I could have of course just waited around and just held up mana for contempt. The Back problem with doing this instead of playing Angrath though, sea, of like holding up mana for contempt is basically the carnage siren that's like the problem i wanted to like they would just either able to cast the carnage tyrant next turn or just you know play another rhythm get get used to doing that maybe i should have just taken the carnage tyrants to begin with i was hoping to be able to get it out of their hand again by the time, or get it out of their hand, or hope they didn't draw lands. You know, like they had three lands in their hand at the time. Hoping they didn't find land. That Gruel Locket was a, a good draw, and then besides that, they yeah, drew some lands. But yeah, just, you know, hindsight, we could have thought Erasure Carnage Tyrant. But removal spell is not doing very much for us. I don't think we would win that matchup very often. They have a lot of good cards against my specific deck, especially how my deck has so much sorcery speed removal, and they have a lot of haste. And haste and four mana CMC. Sunder Shaman in particular. What a killer. Now every game's a final boss, basically. Yeah, we are... We have our back up against it. So I'm expecting my opponent to have... Like, this looks like... If they're shocking in here, they have the instant speed... Uh, growth Spiral. So they have Growth Spiral, so they could have Reclamation next turn. So we need to Thought Erasure. Instead of play as Kanta here, because we need to be able to take... A reclamation they do not. Um, so do I want to take Nexus or Chemistry's Insight? I think. I guess I could take Krasis. I take Insight. Another tap land.
this is not a bad card. I do want land, of course, for Angrath, though. Like, land land is the best thing that we could draw. I think we can ditch it. We can just play Bolas next turn if we don't hit land. Oh, yeah, see... Oh, so that's why you were saying remove land the last time. You thought, oh yeah, we can't actually remove land. That's not a, a real choice for us. <laughs> okay, well, Ascanta's going to be able to flip. Stokes the but if we can keep their card count low... Maybe we can keep it, make it more difficult for them to no continue to fire, hit drops and stuff. No steel. <laughs> it's all, all good. So whatever that card was, they really wanted it. They didn't want to flip as Kanta. Ah, uh, that's a good one. That's a better one. Wow. All right, we got some work to do, Angrath. No fire, no steel. So think we have this game I think this game is lost. It's most certainly lost. Alright. Sideboard. All those coming on in. Maybe Ral, maybe not Ral. But yeah, Ascanta and it was our opponent did a really good job of not having Ascanta or Reclamation in their hand for our thought erasures and, and waiting till after those to draw them. That was pretty clutch. All right, let's try this. I think it's a it's a tough matchup for us game one. Usually we do pretty good post board. Um, we'll we'll see. Hmm. I don't want to tap out and like have my opponent just play Nascanta. Good. Not a bad draw. Yeah, so basically I have I have four sponsors here that uh, whenever we have people use my referral links uh, to purchase their products, uh, you know, get a check mark here, and every so often we're going to do we do a twelve hour stream to celebrate those. So right now, I see those like there's more information down in the info panels about all of them.
But that's what that's all about. The closest one to a 12 hour stream that we're at right now is with Quip. We only need two more people to sign up for Quip. Getting that awesome toothbrush. Crisis is, of course, throwing a, a big wrench in my plans. I, I definitely wish I would have just played Bolas instead of Thief for how this has played out. I think we would, we would have been in a lot better spot, you know, if I would have just played Bolas on that on turn four. You know, we'd be able to be attacking our opponent for four and then putting them on a good clock here. That could certainly cost me this game of me playing Thief earlier instead of Bolas. I could, of course, trade, but there's just not really an incentive to trade. If we find like an Angrath, we could steal the Krasis and, and hit him, kind of thing. Or Ral could kill that. Still have the insights. Insight's a great card. Would I rather... This Ral or this Angrath? I'd rather play the Ral. Dispersal has a only gets the... Start by Dispersal only hits the Frilled Mystic game. right now. I think I'd rather have the Ral in play for next turn. Hmm. This is weird. Like, I want land drops. But I also want counter magic. I think I'm just gonna take this land drop. Because I want to be able to like play campaigns and play for you know I want we're gonna need to be able to play lots of stuff. Basically. We're gonna want to spend lots of you know, like we have a lot of mana to spend. That's a pretty convenient top card to have. So I just need to kill this frilled mystic and then dispersal the reclamation, or I don't know, find something that Find a disenchant from them. Like, find a crushing canopy on their side.
All right, game three on the draw. Can we get game three on the draw? I've had two close games so far. I don't like this. I don't like turn turn three th yet. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like all these dispersal or these discoveries. We just don't have time for that. I don't really like this one either. I guess I'm keeping this though. I think this is better than five. Hmm. So we have four duress, four negate. Four Thought Erasure. I want to find one of those 12 cards for turn two. I mean, this is... It's not bad to have Discovery, though. As, like, a backup option. But then we only have one draw step before turn two. This gives us two draw steps. It's kind of rough. I'm gonna keep it. But hopefully we hit one of those other 12 cards. Hmm. At least Noah's Kanta, that's a good sign. I do need one more land for Angrath, but I I think we can find a land between, like, drawing another card from campaign and everything also. Yeah, like, wasn't too concerned about finding another land. So, glad we kept the discovery. The discovery got rid of a couple lands. It was a good discovery. Maybe using this as a dispersal later for Wreck. Wilderness Reclamation. Love it. Love it. That's good for us. Good for us. So they didn't have Wilderness Reclamation there. That's what I'm referring to. Looks like they may have a negate on oh, no. Okay. Um. So I think I. I think I can just keep this in hand for dispersal in case they find wilderness reclamation. Which they did. And now we're, we need to clear their hand first. Because, you know, if I just dispersal it, they just discard this Harpooner. Or they discard one of the cards they want to draw from Memorial to Genius. So we, need to, we need to start clearing their hand. You're just no fire. It's not easy against no their deck that's just built on drawing cards. So if they if they if they just have like a brick and harpooner, they would have just played harpooner. We would have made them discard and then no fire, no steel. Dispersal. Okay. So I'm kind of guessing their other cards like a counter spell. So do I actually want to play as Kanta right now? Or do I want to try to wait? I think I just try to wait.
for Angrath to get rid of counter magic. No fire, no steel. Hmm. Is this plan even going to work? Maybe. They can always just keep the two cards in hand. Okay. There we go. That's good. Whatever that last card is, we'll make them discard it. Because I assuming that's the counter spell. Oh wait. We don't just make them discard it though. They untap their lands. Okay, we got it. No untapping for them. No fire, no steel. I don't know if our opponent made a mistake. Like they're, like honestly, like if we don't have dispersal, like that's that's honestly probably the best play, because our opponent knew that we were gonna make them discard. Like, well, maybe they just keep that in hand and crack memorial, but they were gonna be tapped out either way. Like, if so, this deals twelve to them right now. Not quite lethal. Yeah. So I took the dispersal so we could dispersal away the Escanta. Get rid of that also. And then, yeah, we were going to be winning with an Angrath ult and a little bit after that. All right. We got there. That's what our deck does. Reduces our opponent's resources a bunch. Angrath was an all-star. Angrath made our opponent discard so many cards. Well, the reason to use Frilled there was because of Angrath. Just making... Gonna make them discard it kind of thing. Well, trying this one lander with Discovery... All we need to do is just draw any second land, cast Discovery, find some more lands. It's kind of tough winning with five card hands. I think, I think this is worth it. Yeah, our opponent could use the Memorial. So basically, let's so let's say they use... I, I take up Angrath, they use Memorial. They draw two more cards. They... I'm going to get rid of this thing. They discard one of the other cards. They're tapped out be after using Memorial there, and so they're Frilled Mystic. Like, they don't even get to Frilled Mystic, and... So they're thinking that, that their Frilled Mystic isn't going to have much impact after tapping out, because then I get to... Then I have my window to resolve my spell or spells that I was sitting on anyway. And so they wanted to put some pressure on on Angrath. They're also worried that Angrath is, like if they just sit back completely, Angrath is ultimating kind of soon. And so having the 3-2 at least gives them something to attack Angrath with or make me maybe minus Angrath. Because um, if they sit back and wait for after that. Yeah, hopefully we draw this land for Ritual of Soot now. That's our plan. Boom. That's why I didn't play the Lava Coil. We're just going to draw the land. Hmm. 
Best possible thing would be campaign hitting a land and then lava coiling this. I could just go bolus and have bolus block, but this, you know, does make all these other things bigger. I'm gonna just play it safest and just coil this. Just getting that off the battlefield is is good. I'm just going the safe route. I think where we're at with our opponent having, you know, just a few cards left, three cards left. Us having some very powerful cards. I think going safe is good. I guess I didn't really play around spell beers. Here be monsters. And we want to just keep hitting land drops. Is this Nicol Bolas. There we go. Get to the Bolas ultimate. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. All right. Let's get a moment of cravings, cry of the carnarium. In I don't like hate duress. I expect our opponent to have spell pierces and negates. So I don't hate duress. Let's get campaign out. Campaign's kind of slow. We'll play a couple duresses. Uh, they can help our, you know, our expensive spells resolve. Let's try this. I could see also, like, you know, we'll we'll be able to see like what they have here post board. But like, if this was mono blue aggro, for example, I would be just boarding out the four discoveries and bringing in negates. I wonder if I want to row. Do I want a Rowl instead of an Angrath? No. Well. Turn four ritual of soot wins it or has a good chance of winning if it is not disrupted. So hopefully no counter magic for it. Or that we find like a discard spell. Hey, there we go, there's a discard spell. I don't need to cast the discard spell immediately on turn one. I'm gonna wait, give them a couple more draws to find a counter a counter spell What is my favorite spoiled card so far? Um I really like the the Paradise Druid. That's definitely my kind of card. The mana creature as man of any color. I like playing lots of color decks and everything. Yeah, that is certainly my kind of card. Okay. So no... No counter magic over there. So we're just looking for more sweepers or ways to win the game. Because... Put this over there. Thank you. Great discovery there. Great discovery. Got rid of two lands that I don't want to draw. And gave us an Angrath. That was a, a great discovery. Yeah, I mean, our, our, so our Ritual of Soot, pretty good. It kills three creatures here, but they have a ton of creatures still. The thing is that with them having a, a hand chock full of creatures, this, they only have two mana, so they can only play one a turn.
Which only playing one a turn is just not going to be good enough. Ever seen your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. All right, so next turn we'll have Bolas plus Lava Coil their play plus make them discard. And Bola should be able to finish this up. No fire, no steel. Discarding Trickster. Is that the name of the new Nicol Bolas Planeswalker? Is it Nicol Bolas Dragon God? No fire, no steel. Because although, uh, admittedly, I've not seen every single spoiled card so far, but that is the best one by a long ways, in my opinion, of the cards that I have seen. There are none greater but I haven't seen all of them. You shall taste real pain. I could certainly see myself playing a whole lot of Nicol Bolas Dragon God. I like Grixis decks. That that could certainly be the the card I play the most. At least at first. Yeah, it is Nicol Bolas. You win the game. Grixis is really strong. Grixis hasn't had, like, the best finishers. That's kind of been the problem with Grixis, is not having, like, a great finisher. And that Nicol Bolas Dragon God is an amazing finisher. Just, like, having, like, this shell, but just having a bunch of those in the five-drop slot to finish the games is really good. Am I going first? I think I'm going first, right? No, I'm not going first? Oh. I liked this more whenever, whenever I was going first. Oh, is this mono blue? I hope this is not mono blue. What's the Amass Sweeper? You're saying Amass Sweeper looks better than Soot. What is that card? I really hope this is not Mono Blue Aggro. I hope this is a slow control deck. <laughs> Maybe Drake's. I'll take Drake's. No, not, not mono blue aggro. This hand is horrific against mono blue. This is our card that we sideboard out. It says, amass two, then your army does damage to all creatures equal to its power. The problem with that card is that means you have to play creatures, especially zombies, or like, to play like, I think I'd rather just have Ritual of Set. Dang. Speaking of Ritual of Set, that would have been a very good time to draw said card. Yeah, discard that Entrancing Melody. Ritual of Soot. Come on, one time. Dope. <laughs> this set's going to be so annoying in paper. Everything has so many counters. <laughs> A bunch of tokens and counters and everything like that. What? 
took our opponent a long time to play their spell. Okay. Well, that hand was just really bad against Mono Blue. So, Discovery, Disinformation... Discovery and Disinformation campaign are my cards that I take out. Usually, so like, usually this is how I, I would board before, but now we have this second moment of craving. So now I, I feel like I should be playing the second moment of craving, which means I need to cut something else. But I kind of like all the rest of the cards. I don't love Moment of Craving. I'll just take it out. No, Rascal Contempt is good. <clears throat> Contempt and Bedevil actually killed Tempest Gins and adapted Terramanders. You need a good remo you need removal for those things. Moment of Craving does not kill those things. Rassus Contempt is really not so slow. It's really not. These games don't just, like, end immediately. Instant speed is critical. Like, having, like, it's it's really important to have, like, Rassus Contempt on their turn, where then they have to, like, use the protection that they had on their turn, and so that you, then you get to untap in Ritual of Soot. Or untap and then Bolas or whatever. Like, Having stuff to play on their turn is very important. Okay, I'll take that. Explain the reasoning behind holding duress. There's just... There's... Like, what's the reason to cast it? That last turn, I was... I didn't have... Like, I had perfect turns, like, this next turn to cast it as far as mana... Mana goes. Giving your opponent another turn to draw, like, the spell that you want to duress away. And duress is good. Usually it's good, like, before you play something else to help that other thing, whatever that other thing is, resolve. We need to be drawing black mana. We need black mana very bad. I think people fire off duress much too early a lot of times like you can fire off a duress and then they don't have like their like the counter spell that you need to take at that point in the game where then like a little bit later they opt in like you know then draw that that counter spell and then you didn't weren't able to to cast it like unless you know you're tapping out all the time but we knew like basically i knew like the next turn i was going to have my three mana where i was going to have duress plus lava coil at that time, and I just felt like we could just wait. It's like I, ha I had the mana to use on a future turn. And I was in under no pressure. We've drawn as poorly as we can, basically. We've drawn all these these cards that we can't play. I think we're losing this. This is not a matchup I lose very often. This is usually one of our, our best matchups, but certainly lose sometimes. It looks like this is going to be one of those times. With us having five cards we can't cast in our hand.
We really need a land by now. You know, we kept our three lander at the 26 lands because you just like I if we draw the land there I'm probably dropping bolus. It was harder for my opponent to counter bolus with like the two mana that they had. Our opponent really likes saying good game. How do I how do I mute the opponent? Why why can I not mute them? Is that not a thing that you can do anymore? There we go. So they likely have three or four counter spells, which is why they're saying that. Yep, and we're stuck with too many cards we couldn't cast in our hand. Defeated. Taking a rare loss to Mono Blue there. Game one. <laughs> so our game one hand was just, you know, <laughs> horrifically bad of five lands and two. Uh, two disinformation campaigns. T to be honest, I thought I was on the play whenever I kept that hand and then found out that we were on the draw. And uh, yeah, so we just didn't have a competitive hand at all the first game. And then and then uh, the second game, you know, we kept three lands and didn't draw another land. So didn't didn't really have much magic to play there. That match... Um, So there's some Grixis discard. It's it's a little early. That leak kind of went kind of quickly. Another two and two. Let's play. Let's let's just play a let's play one game of ranked here with the deck still. I really didn't put up any competitive fight to that last uh, match. And so, you know, we'll make this video a little longer. We'll play a ranked match as well. Get a get a fifth match in here. More magic. Today's the fifth, right? Yeah. All right, opponent's on six cards. And we are on the play this time. All right, so good good turn for Duress here with us having Disinformation Campaign next turn. Deputy of Detention. And taking the Thought Erasure because I don't want them to take my campaign.
I guess I should play... I should be playing the Swamp there instead of the Dragon Skull Summit. I was kind of doing this upload. Kind of playing out of the corner of my eye. But the reason to play Swamp instead of Dragon Skull Summit is because... We don't need, like, the second red source, like, you know, we don't need, like, that, that one red source in case, like, like, basically we don't need to, like, try to draw into a second red source. And so basically I just don't need to play red mana and not let my opponent know that, I, that we are Grixis. Like, maybe if we just play another Swamp, they think that we're a blue-black deck. Does that change, like, their information of, like, like, does that change, like, what card they are discarding? Most likely not, but it could for some reason. And so just playing the basic... You're just fuel for the fires. That turn and not giving no them information fire. that we were Grixis no before steel. they discard a card would probably have been better. So yep, this looks like Esper Midrange to me as well. Let's get Cry the Carnarium for the Hero Precinct one. Uh tokens and everything. And I, I do like Moment of Craving also, because I think they're you know big time Thief of Sandy over there. If I do play those Cards. What am I cutting? This is the kind of matchup that I want Ral also. I guess I could trim a Ritual of Soot. We probably don't need all of them. Maybe I don't need two Moment of Cravings. Either. <laughs> yeah, that hammer to the face killed him. Yeah, so Crowd of the Carnarium is good against Hero Precinct 1 and uh, and even Thief of Sandy. But I, honestly, we have the Ritual of Sets too. I guess, I guess I'm not going to bring it in. It can help us get rid of, you know, like Seraph of the Scales. Uh, you know, makes like the tokens and everything too. Like just exiling stuff can be good. Or like Tithe Taker if they have that. They're going to have, like, Absorb. Oh, Thought Erasure. Do they have Thought Erasure, though, too? So. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta have plenty of removal for Thief. Especially like Thought Erasure into Thief. I think there's <clears throat> I think that's one of the, the scariest things to for us. With the other scary thing being like a, a Teferi. Um unchecked Teferi later on. Kind of the problem is that card's a problem too. Okay, good. No thief. I know I have Ritual of Soot for that hero, but I don't want to re rely on that Ritual of Soot resolving. We got Infi Campaigns. Woo! Wow, Disinformation Pancane's good. Getting rid of a Seraph of the Scales. You know their hand's good. They discard Seraph last turn. Ah, Disdainful Stroke. Why our opponent didn't attack? Who knows? We'll take out that last card. It was a Teferi. Nice, we got rid of Seraph, Disdainful Stroke, and Teferi. Yeah, opponents are racing with the discard. Yeah, good thing we drew a couple cards with our discards.
but my Angrath. I'll keep both of these. I like keeping the I'm keeping the land because I want to get to seven mana to flip bolus. Hey, I am now silver too. I've only played three rank matches. This thing. So I guess so. A silver four, four. If you win three matches, you turn into silver two. Hey, Hawkeye. What are you up to? You want to play another one, Hawkeye? That was a quick one. Uh, no, I'm not planning on going hard into ranked. I, I do want to get to diamond to be able to get that Brass's Contempt. Let's do one more. That one went pretty quick. How are you doing tonight, Hawkeye? I usually stream from 3 to 10, and, you know, we're a little before 10. So, we'll get another match in here. Kitty, kitty. Boom. <laughs> ah. Playing against tokens. What do you think of tokens, Hawkeye? He looked up, he's like, what? Good card to coil. Hmm. All right, so we're hoping that we draw some of our ritual of sets. That's what we want to see. Opponent. But now here's our ritual set. Uh, not quite. Not quite. We are maybe gonna die. We played Selesnya tokens yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I don't know if we ever went turn two Amara, turn three history, turn four Amara Luxodon. We no, we never did that. We never had mana to do that kind of stuff. Should be lethal right there. 18. Alright, so cry the carnarium to help us out and get all these negates in here as well. I'm gonna take out the duress. And They're likely going to have um, some Planeswalkers in their sideboard. That's why I don't really want to take all the like Contempt and Bedevils out. Could take out Campaign. Yeah, I could trim Campaign. Yeah, I like that. Ral's gonna be better for Angrath than than Angrath in this matchup for us. In fact, let's just take out another Angrath. Let's get we'll get one campaign back in here. 
And I'll take out a Contempt for our second campaign. Actually, let's do that. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that looks good. I like Discovery. Discovery... So, a th few things. Like, you know, they have a lot of enchantment rule, like Conclave Tribunals. So, like, we need Dispersal for Tribunal a lot of the time. But then also, Discovery can be in hands like this where... It does dig pretty pretty deeply for Ritual Sid and Cry of the Carnarium. Those two cards in particular are very, very important to find, and Discovery does a good job of digging for them early. So I think this is a good matchup for Discovery. Especially like the the surveil to draw card. You know, look for basically look for Ritual of Soot. Does a good job of that. Alright, we'll keep both of those. Alright, so no History Banalia, which is the main card I kind of wanted to take there. And Harpooner does, or you know, Harpooner could kill a Bolus if they had a creature in the graveyard. They don't have any creatures in the graveyard. They just threw a Harpooner over there. Do they have another one? Yes, they do. That's not bad. We'll take that. I hope they don't draw an instant. They don't have a lot of instants in their deck. Yeah, so draw step, dispersal. Bounce the binding. They discard a card from dispersal. So they'll discard flower flourish. And then bolus trigger. They discard again. No fire, no steel. That's why we do not want to cut Discovery in this matchup. And I'm just, <clears throat> you know, trying to end the game kind of quickly. Just playing the Angrath ticking up Larver. there, even the though Angrath's going over. No fire, no steel. Attack. Get down to eight. Ah, you'll be nothing but slag when I'm done with you. No fire, no steel. All right, down to two. Should be able to get there. I can't really think of anything our opponent can draw. Any, like, one card that keeps them alive through a Bolas and an Angrath. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you, you Yeah, binding is tough. You gotta have your gotta have your dispersals for it. For sure. I mean we don't really get that wrecked by enchantments. You know, we just saw like that that game our opponent
played in Ixalan's Binding and we were fine. You just had to have your dispersal. But it's... The whole Grixis has no enchantment removal is not exactly accurate. Alright. History of Benalia. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play your history. Go ahead and play your other history. Everybody knows when you have one history, you have two. But didn't throw the campaign down because we want to be able to counter the second history as well. Ooh, got a tribunal out of there. Do they have the third history? No. More 1-1s. One -ones. So I think this is a, a fine time for us to cast this Ritual of Soot. It looks like we killed, like, oh man, we just got rid of four creatures. Well, we really only got a two for one, because, you know, like, they had two Sapperly migrations. Hmm. So, can I just take four? Probably just take four. Ooh. Arch of Orozco is a land. Eh, we're forever away from that, from turning that on. Hey, Blind, welcome back for the second month in a row. Yeah, I bet their last card's another enchantment removal spell, how they discarded Tribunal earlier. Yeah, so it's another Tribunal. Good as what we got going on over here, though. All right, elephants out of here. Tithe taker out of here. Falls out of here. Hmm. Certainly playing this thing. It's just whether or not I'm playing campaign, also. I don't think I'm playing campaign, also. Because we may not have negate available if we don't draw a land. But I was certainly playing the bolus. That's rough. That's really rough. Perfect time to draw exactly Kral Harpooner. Well, that's great now, again. So much for the whole being rough part. We're drawing fire. Double bolus, then ritual of set. No, I always have an answer. 
That's just just blacked off. This doesn't have anything better than just. I know what must be done. I thought it was I thought it was full art. It was like previously, right? Um if I play Bolas here, I don't have negate available. I guess I could have just I should've just played the Thought Ranger to pick up the campaign. Um yeah, that can that can resolve. Yeah, it usually is full art. That yeah, so that must be must be a bug. My knowledge is endless. No, we didn't get to ultimate bolus. No. How okay, can we didn't ultimate bolus? Okay. So we ended up with a 4 2 with Grix's discard. <laughs> yeah, I started the season at silver. Um, there's, there's times I'll play some, some ranked off stream when I'm like, like tune in a deck or whatever, or like have an idea for a deck that I want to bring to stream of like, huh, will this work? And so I'll play a match or two with it kind of thing. And so, yeah, I was, I was gold, I guess I was platinum the first season and then gold last season. Didn't play very much last season. And so I started silver here. In fact, I don't even know if I really played at all last season, because I think from just being platinum, I got sent back to gold, and I, I may not have even actually played that, that season too much. And, um, so yeah, we are. I've played now four matches of ranked this time. We've won all four, and we're already almost out of silver. So, by just, by just winning four. Um... Oh, really, Dark Phoenix? You thought it was through my link, but next day... Hey, Dark Phoenix, if you have your uh, confirmation number, just send it on over to me, and I'll I'll tell... Um, I'll tell my, my person over there at, at MeUndies, and so should be should be all good. Um, yeah, just, just let me know, and I should get credit for that. Yeah, so just send me a whisper with your your order number um but there we go so that's grixis discard still an awesome deck very very good deck uh that we played you know we just had had some weird losses you know played against a gruel deck that was kind of designed to beat our deck that first round uh you know like a bigger gruel deck where just we couldn't ritual of sit away anything or lava coil anything like they had like these these sundering shamans four mana five fives that just beat me down and then carnage tyrants and a bunch of haste stuff it was tough and then we lost to mono blue where mono blue is a really good matchup for a deck but i kept a horrible hand game one that i wouldn't have kept if i knew i was on the draw i, I thought i was on the play it was just five land double disinformation campaign and obviously that did not work out against blue and then uh Game two, we kept a three lander and never drew a fourth land, and we're just sitting there with a bunch of ritual of sets and boluses and angrats in our hand and never drew a fourth land. So those are our couple losses today. Those happen. Um, anyway, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, one, thanks for watching, and two, I hope I'll see you for the next video. Have a good night.